Today, I want to talk to you about paranoia, the subject matter of that. Lots of people will have paranoia, especially I had a parent tell me, well, it's our job to be paranoid. And this was coming from a controlling, overprotective parent who smothers their kids with it and is, is cages their kids every time they think something is amiss. And a lot of times it isn't a mess because these kids are well-behaved children. Um, but the thing is, the parents are just overbearing and overprotective. And, uh, you know, it's just like when I just put stuff out generally for everybody, you look at my post on Instagram, they don't say any messages that are hidden or conveyed. They're just plain text. Uh, paranoia can make people have, you know, vicious ideas and overactive imaginations. And, you know, like an overprotective parent, that's exactly what it is, a playground for that. And, you know, just me saying, you know, to the family that I love and that I care about the most is not really talking to someone in particular. It's talking to the whole family. And if I did send it out and that person were to see it, it does not mean that I'm trying to communicate with them. I mean, I'm just sending something out to everyone. Um, but, of course, this person had me blocked and also reported me to Instagram by having me not be able to, you know, search for them. Of course, I wasn't searching for them to begin with because I was following that person because they told me I could. And, uh, you know, the parent just overreacted and went crazy. Uh, mental illness often does that with people that have mental illness with anxiety because this person has anxiety issues. And, you know, just, just very, very overprotective, not very patient, not very understanding, has t bad temper, um, always is very strong with their opinion. And that's why they lose friends. They go through a cycle of friends every year. I've noticed that from knowing this person for seven years. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of truth to it. All this is really the truth about that person. And then, just like... <laughs> Yesterday, she went and spread it all over the media. And I noticed that all these people were uh, in support, you know, of a photo that I saw on through another person who, who transmitted the photo, and they were on mine. Uh, about I showed uh, her, I showed her daughter at the uh, the uh, at the church where she goes to uh, in prayer, and yeah, she looked uh, like she was a little not happy. She was smiling, but not really smiling. Uh, her tear, her eyes looked a little puffy, and uh, she's not happy about that. And uh, I wouldn't be happy about it either if I had parents, if I had a mother that was over lurdering and overbearing and imagining things that aren't so, uh, because nothing is true about it. And uh, so, you know, that's what I'm saying. You know, mental illness does a lot of crazy things to people, especially people that have mental illness. So, you know, she does. Um, she's a nice person, but. You know, she doesn't know how to keep deep relationships, seated relationships. Um, if you if you ask her, she probably doesn't keep track of people that were when she was in high school. She probably don't have any friends from college. Uh, I've asked her, uh, she says she don't have any. Well, most people that have mental illness don't. Um, and it's probably because they really didn't hang around with a lot of people. And a lot of people don't understand them. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. I'm just saying that it's just the truth about it. And so that's why those people don't have friends. Like me, I have friends from high school. I have friends from college. Um, I still do. And the thing is, you have to talk to people, you know. And if people don't talk to you, well, then they lose contact. You know, people that have mental problems like this that are similar with paranoia and overbearing and over-opinionated, uh, very controlling and rigid in their thinking and mind and can't admit when they make mistakes or when they're sorry, and when they panic when they're way too early, when they don't, there's no need or cause to. Um, that's what happens. Um, another thing is that, you know, teenagers, you, you raise them really good. They're good. These, these kids, the four kids are wonderful. They're gems. You know, they're, they behave really well. Uh, these teenagers are wonderful. But you keep on smothering them like you're doing. You're not going to have them as a bond with them. They're going to leave. They're going to go talk to the wrong people. Because I'm going to tell you, if you keep doing that, they're going to go to the wrong people and get information. And what you're doing is exactly that. So if you don't want them to like you very much when they get older and as an adult, keep doing what you're doing. 
because this is a great recipe on how to do just that. You know, let your kids speak. Let your kids tell you what's going on and don't force them. You know, don't force things out of them. Don't be a, like an FBI sci-fi cop because there's some people out there that are like this. And if you are like this, that's why I'm saying this to you. Stop it. Okay, because this is a way to lose that connection. And don't always listen to everybody that you don't even know that talk about people because that's really dumb too. Uh, you listen to people that you don't know and there's something really wrong with you mentally because that means you believe anything. And that's basically what's happened here. So that's why I say paranoia can be a playground for a lot of people. And that's exactly what's happened here. Hi, I'm Michael DeSillis from New Hunter Church of Christ. If you are like this, please stop this behavior because it's really going to put you in the hospital, you know, if you let it go too far. And, you know, just calm down, take a deep breath, maybe count to 10, breathe deeply, and just leave it all in God's hands. And don't overreact. And let your kids grow normally. And let them be able to experience life without the shield of a armored mom, you know, coming in, spy cop mom. You know, just let them have a normal life. There's no reason for that kind of uh, treatment or no reason why you have to be all in, you know, everything they're doing. Because, you know, it's good to be on social media, but to say, to block people when they didn't really say anything is really crazy. So have a good one, and I love you. Take care. Bye for now. Shalom.